what gives the Charter its power. It can crash a market or drop a plane out of the sky. If you own the heart. What do you think uh, this movie does differently to, or even better than other spy thrillers that we've seen before? Gives those missions to a woman. Um, <laughs> that's much more uh, where we need to be heading at the moment. We've, we've seen, you know, decades and decades of male driven uh, spy thrillers. And uh, I think it's time to mix that up and um, not just have the female in those movies just be the sort of uh, vacuous eye candy that, that can sometimes happen. And, you know, it's it, in, in, in mainstream, it seems to be heading in that direction more where we're giving uh, women more of a chance to lead these sort of movies. And, and Gal Gadot has been at the forefront of that. And that's only a, only a good thing. And uh, yeah, Jesus, it would be, it'd be great if they get to do more of these and, and make it a franchise. and. If uh, where are they with Mission Impossible 11 or something? I mean, I've, I've lost count of how many uh, there's been, but if that uh, happens with uh, a, a, a woman at the forefront, that's only a good thing. Talking about her, how is working with Gal Gadot and oh, who's obviously a massive action star in Hollywood? Yeah, yeah, it's incredible. Like just watching her sort of comfort in this space, you know, to me, uh, I hadn't really done a lot of. Uh, I done out action stuff before, like I've done a wee bit of it here and there, and it sort of bled in the different things that I, that I've done over the years. But this was like straight up, you know, action spy thriller where you know, Gal's very at home in in, in this world, and she's very home and like oh, I'm kicking ass, and and uh, it's very cool to see it because she does it with utter professionalism, but also with uh, a real sense of fun, and. Uh, I think uh, anyone who gets into this industry is usually because they want to work hard but have fun doing it. And um, Gal's sort of the embodiment of that. And uh, yeah, we, we, had, we had a great time and she, she's going to be a great friend of mine. And uh, yeah, I loved it. Yeah, so how was for you preparing these action scenes that you take part in, that your character takes part in? And did she give you any advice? Uh, I don't know if she gave me any advice on it. It's not like, you know, I've had to be fit for roles before. I've had to be in good shape for roles. I've, I've had to bulk up for roles. I've had to get, you know, like I guess it's part and parcel of being an actor, and uh, and I love that side of it. You know, I'm, I'm very happy training. Very, I, I, I would do it anyway if it's not asked of me. I, I'd rarely go through a phase where I'm not active in some way, whether that's playing sport a couple of times a week or or literally just going to the gym or running, whatever it is. I'm one of those people who needs it. I have a hard time sitting still. Uh, and uh, uh, I don't sleep very well unless I've exercised. So when I need to do it for work, it's it's a it's a good thing for me. So um, yeah, just I do a lot of fight training, a lot of uh, stunt work, stuff I hadn't done a lot of before, like um, harness work, um, aerial work, all sort of some of that stuff was new to me. But yeah, I love it. It's a great a chance to sort of show a different side of yourself. Mm -hmm.